everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We are here with day number eight of Defemember. This is the daily ephemera inspiration in December, a December daily hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. I've linked their channels below in the description box. So today we are working with Snow Woman and Paper Doily. So <clears throat> I did a couple things before I got started today. <clears throat> So I just kind of gathered my supplies. Um, this is the paper doily that I want to use. It's the one that I can find. I know I have more, but I have no idea where they are in my studio. So I have this great big one. Um, and then I have a couple papers that I dyed. I think I want to make like some kind of like, um, like a journal card or like just a large piece of ephemera um, with this. So this is like a blue dyed piece of paper that was hanging around in my scraps. And then this is um, dyed with black walnut. Then um, I'm going to, for the snow woman part of this, I'm going to use this digital um, from the It Capilli Imaginarium on Etsy. This is the Whimsical Winter Dolls 2. Um, <clears throat> and I've actually already fussy cut them ahead of time so that I would have cut out already from this sheet what I wanted. And they are just hiding right under here. And they're sort of laid out how I want them a little bit. Um, so I want to use this woman as my snow woman and this as her little friend, my snow owl friend. Um, they're a little bit wacky, but that's kind of what I want to do. So that being said, these antlers, I think they're actually going right off camera. They're a little too long, so I need to modify these antlers. So we're just going to do a little antler modification here. Um, because I'm thinking like if I fold them down like this, that's basically the height that I would want them at. They're, they're a little bit, a little beaucoup for what we want. Um, so this is kind of what we want. So I'm going to do a little bit of um, snipping and gluing to get me started here. Where did I put my scissors? Over here. Okay. So first of all, we have to take off this one little one little point then I will just come in with my art glitter glue <clears throat> and just kind of seal this fold that I made in with way too much glue <laughs> that's the rule you have to use way too much glue or it's you're not actually an artist unless you I've used way more glue than necessary. Okay, so we've shortened these antlers now, that's good. Then I just need my little tiny scissors so I can clean up the little bits here that kind of look funny. <clears throat> just a little bit even fussier, fussier cutting. Okay, that's good. Then what I'll do, the lid on the glue here and put it away then get rid of this gluey page so that I don't have a catastrophe and actually before I get rid of it I'm going to clean this brush because I want to use this brush in a few minutes there we go that's pretty clean Okay, now I need my Distress Oxide. I'm just going to use a little bit of Walnut Stain Distress Oxide to go over these antlers and hide the little white bits and just kind of add a little tone to um, the color here. Okay. Just want to wipe a little bit of that away with some water. Okay. All right, that's a little better, a little more tonal. And I still have a little bit there that I need to ch to get rid of. There. Okay. Yes, that's better. She's not so tall. 
Okay, so now we have to figure out <clears throat> what we want to use as the base. So let me get rid of this. So what I wanted to do, I think, was um, use this blue paper as the base for the ephemera. So then I would put these on here first. Maybe Actually, no. I want to layer some more things in the background. So <clears throat> the first thing I wanted to do was a bit... Of inking on here and I'm going to use these colors weathered wood and broken china because I want to have a bit of a bluish gray kind of background oopsies be gentle be gentle Just go in with a little bit of blue. Okay, so that's probably enough for what I want to do. Because I'm thinking of using sort of just a piece of this napkin. And gluing it on as a background and then I wanted to tear out a tree shape from this paper <clears throat> so let's just get into this I'm not feeling confident yet <laughs> always always me okay so up here let's just trim and then down here and then we know where we need to cut. And then I can also just do a little more inking. So I can get that big scrap out of the way here. So. Thinking of this kind of like a snowy day with that like gray, bright gray kind of sky. It's kind of the colors that I'm trying to channel here. just lying a background down and then I think the tree I want it to kind of come up from here and go up this way so that means we're going to be tearing from this edge and I'm just I'm just going to try to sort of tear just freehand tear the tree trunk okay so there's the trunk now I'm going to need to go up and out <clears throat> to get a branch shape. So let's just take a look at what we've got so far. Okay, so branch number one. I'm going to come down like this. This is a little bit thinner, I think. This is going to be a little fussy to do. We can come in again and create more branches if we need to as well, so I'm not too concerned. So 
then maybe the middle of the tree is here. like a tree to me. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, so now the fun part of gluing down the doily, which is not my favorite thing in the world to do. So much so that I'm actually not going to. I'm going to glue on to the paper itself because um, ugh, gluing doilies always gouges my glue and I really, really don't like that. <laughs> It's easier for me to just clean up extra glue on the base than it is to deal with this doily. I'm going to still probably have to go in and do a little extra gluing or cleaning. Okay. It's a little farther over, I think, than I want, maybe. Yeah, right there. All right, so, yeah, right here. Fix that little spot that tore. Okay. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Let's just do a little bit of drying, maybe. Um, Alright, I'm going to bring up my heat tool for a minute, so if you don't like slightly loud noise, just please mute me for a moment. Okay, there we go. We're dry. <laughs> so that's a lot easier than dealing with trying to put glue underneath the doily, at least for me it is. Um, then I need to put glue on the back of my tree here. So let me just see how much of this tree. I'll tear the bottom they don't need. trim around this to make it sort of the size that we want. I'm going to stitch all around this at the end, so don't be too concerned if the paper's not glued together at the back. there. <laughs> we almost lost the antlers. No. Okay. Okay. So a little more glue just on the edge of the doily. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so um, I do have a few things. So in my other in my other half of my life, I'm um, a yarn spinner and a fiber artist, and so we use the stuff that I have in here. It's called Angelina. So it this particular Angelina, it's very sparkly and iridescent, and I was thinking it would be nice to use in snow as snowy kind of accents. So. I've got these little tangles of it here, and um, this is two of them. So this is actually the heat bondable version of Angelina. So if you heat it, like I heated it here with my heating tool, you get kind of a melted bit and it will hold all of that together. So I was thinking about how I would use that behind um, these little people to make them a little more special and give them a little bit of snowy kind of glow. Um, so I think the next step is the stressful one, which is laying down and gluing down the collage. <laughs> so first of all, I don't know, but we might need something to anchor this down. I'm trying to think about what would be a good anchor for this. Um, maybe a little bit of lace. Hmm. Think, think, think. Okay, hold on. Just cutting a piece of lace off the side here. <laughs> Sorry. I hang some lace off to the side of my desk here. So this might be a nice little snowy anchor. So her feet have something that they're standing in and she's not just floating in space. You see what I mean? So let's glue that down first um, with some fabric tack. Okay, then I will put the rest on the actual fabric. I just have to wait for the inevitable air bubble of the fabric tack. There it goes. I don't want to use too much glue. I'm just doing the edges. I'm okay if like it's not laying completely flat. That's totally fine. Because if it's a snowy amount of snow, even though it's kind of this tea dyed color, <laughs> It's fine because it goes with my overall aesthetic here. Okay, that's what we want now. Boop. So I'll just start with these legs. I have a general idea of what I'm looking for here. So her standing here. <clears throat> then I need to do the next little bit by laying down the rest of the owl because I want the owl to be kind of underneath like have the owl's wing I want the owl to be a little shorter so it's kind of like an owl child so like about that height. Have the one wing here underneath and the other wing here. They should be around the same level. Head And her head should be kind of there. Oh, and the antlers are still going to be too big. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's just take a chance. Remove that central bit of the antler, maybe. And then I can have them kind of coming 
from the back of her head. No, it needs that bit. It really does. Okay, let's just, all right, let's glue down the rest and then we'll worry about the antlers after that. Set that there so I can just get this wing. Oops. Okay, so right about there. We can take these off for a moment and then glue down the jacket. Just kind of putting glue on the back of everything but not fully laying it down yet um you don't have a lot of time with art glitter glue so I do have to hurry okay yeah that there okay hard part is done <laughs> hard part is finished well, we haven't dealt with the antlers yet, so maybe not. Now, um, do I want to take the opportunity to maybe push a little bit of that in here? Yeah. And we'll use... Actually, no, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I think that would be kind of nice. So I will use the art glitter glue and just pop that down, flatten it out. There we go. It's just going to be like a halo behind the head. Um, oops, wrong bottle. Other wing. Then maybe a little bit of this Angelina under this side of the skirt here. Let's just do a little bit. And the owl's head. little halo of this underneath her head let's see no we already have the antler situation to deal with so let's just do that okay put her head right there then Let's just glue and see what we lose. I think that re regardless of losing some of the antler 
you see the antler. It's implied that the antler is there. This side. Okay. And we'll just cut the excess off and we won't cry about it. <laughs> Okay, and then the bows, so this one is her bow, and this one is her bow. Did I have it here or here? Here. Okay. Okay. Get my fluff out of here so that I don't end up losing it. <laughs> Is there any more room for fluff? Let's see, should I put some under here? No, it's okay. That's enough. That's enough of the fluff. Um, Because I wonder if I have any good little um, words. Let's just have a quick look here. Don't want to take too long. Lots of things about water. There was an old owl lived in an oak. <laughs> Almost. We need something winter, I think. Um, hold on. Yesterday I had been looking at this fox book and it had a lot of winteriness in it. The Lake of Ice Shining. Okay. Along the frosty ground. That could be nice. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, I think. Along the frosty ground. I'm wondering if I have like a nice, um, I know I have some moon images, but I don't know if they'll work, Ooh, I I'll work for this. Oopsies. My little jar of frequently used things is falling over here. There we go. Okay. Let's take a quick look at what kind of moon type stuff I have. Um going to move this over here for a moment. I have all sorts of moon type stuff, but I'm not sure if any of it would be right for this. 
that actually would be. I'll just cut it out. It's vellum, so yeah. Okay, and I have to interrupt my whole calamity over here again to put this back. There we go. <laughs> Don't fall. All right. So if we cut out this vellum moon, thinking if I should trim it but I don't think I will I'm going to keep it whole and um, I'm going to stick it down with glue stick oh, I knew this is going to happen the fluff <laughs> Hold on. Angelina is actually considerably worse than glitter because it's like furry oh my gosh we might have to do a hand wash break. <laughs> okay, we do. Oh, goodness. Let me just lay this down. And then we'll do a little cleanup in a minute. <laughs> but I just want to get this moon on here. Right about where I wanted to have it. A little lower. Under the fluff. Okay. That's good. Let the fluff go back up here. Okay, finger washing break. Be right back. I am back. <laughs> and my hands are clean again. So I'm just going to kind of more neatly trim this. Then I think a little bit of ink around the edge. Maybe even... Just a light little bit of the black, actually, that's in this um, dauber. This is my black dauber. Okay. Thinking here, maybe, possibly down here, too, along the frosty ground. Yeah, maybe down there, so it's not in the way. Okay, I will use fabric tack for that. Just waiting on the little glue bubble here. There we go. Okay, then um, make this a little more wintry. I want some of this. Um, this is Bombay India ink, white India ink. I just want to do a few little. Of that and then okay I think it's time to stitch this now so just give me two seconds and I will be right back okay so that's all stitched around and then there's just one thing left that I want to do 
and that is to add some gilding around the edges because I really enjoy gold. Oh, and I need to trim it's a little tiny extra bit of vellum right there. Okay, let's get rid of that. I'm just going to do a little gold over the stitches here just to kind of still give it a frame but I mean there's fabric hanging there so I'm not going to worry too much about the gold. A little bit of gilding around the edges of their dresses just because. Okay. Then we're almost finished. We're almost finished. I just need um, a little tiny bit of this. I just want to kind of dull this a little. Problem is this is walnut stain, it's not vintage photo. Oopsies. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, here we go. I wanted to add a little distress to it, so I'm not like super upset or anything. There we go. Just kind of even this color a little. I'm just changing the color of the skirt a little bit now, just because of this little boo-boo. <laughs> You have to adapt to these these things in life. Okay, there we go. Right. I think that's done. I think, I think. Yeah, I think so. So that is day number eight, Snow Woman and Paper Doily. Um, I like this one. I think it's really fun. And I also think it has a really nice texture to it. It's got a lot of like elements going on. Um, and I like that the back is nice dyed paper as well. So 
thank you again for hanging out with me um, while we did this little challenge. I will be back again tomorrow with day number nine. Um, you can find all of my social media information down below in the description box. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again. Bye for now. Bye.